going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Rockport, Texas. We're going to take a look at a very special fifth wheel. One that I've featured on my channel a few times and it's definitely one that I get asked a lot about, especially from folks who are considering going full time. So hang tight guys, I'll be right back. So in front of me, you were looking at a 2020 Forest River Riverstone 39FK. This is a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel, full body paint. This is a fifth wheel by Forest River that is rated for full-time use. It's designed to compete with many of the other luxury brands that are out there. And this one's gonna fall right around that $135 to $140,000 MSRP. And they generally sell for a little over $100,000. So when you compare this to some of the other fifth wheels that are on the market, you're gonna find from a construction perspective, you get a lot of bang for your buck with Forest River Riverstone. Now, all Forest River products are essentially made in their own factories, even though they might share the Forest River name, and some Forest River brands produce more than one model across a single factory, but the Riverstone product is made in its own factory, and it is designed to a little bit different standard than many of the other Forest River products you might see. So this specific product has a lot of really cool attributes that makes it a very, very nice fifth wheel, especially if you're starting to approach that $100,000 price range and you wanna see what you can get with the most value. So looking at the numbers on this fifth wheel, you'll see that it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,665 pounds with a maximum cargo capacity of 2,427 pounds. So this is a relatively heavy fifth wheel. It rides on two 8,000 pound axles, has 17.5 inch H rated tires, and this is built on a very robust chassis. I love the fact that they give you the 17 and a half inch wheels as well as the dual 8,000 pound axles. Dry weight on this fifth wheel is going to be 16,179 pounds. So even empty, this is going to have a pretty high weight to it. This is definitely something I would recommend towing with a dually pickup truck minimum. Taking a look at the front, you'll see that it has the upgraded Air Ride Trail Air pin box from LCI. This is an airbag suspension pin box designed to help reduce a lot of the bouncing action that you might get transferred typically from the front of a fifth wheel to a tow vehicle. And something that's also very unique about the Riverstone product, especially in this price category, is that you have a three inch thick sidewall. Traditionally, most fifth wheels are gonna have about an inch and a half thick sidewall, and it limits the amount of insulation you can put in. In the Riverstone, it's three inches thick, and they use a residential grade batted hung insulation inside of the walls. So this is a very, very well insulated unit, and it competes directly against other high-end brands like DRV as well as Lux. This Riverstone also comes equipped with the Moride Step Above flip-out step system. Some other really nice attributes is that it has the 17 and a half inch Goodyear tires. So these are the G114 tires. These are their highest end tires that they make for an RV towable application. Absolutely great quality, very robust tires on a 17 and a half inch wheel. This has the Dexter Easy Flex suspension system, and it also has automotive style disc brakes. So when you talk about upgrades on fifth wheels, it's very, very nice to see that in this price range, you can get a fifth wheel equipped with 8,000 pound axles, 17 and a half inch wheels and tires, Goodyear tires, as well as disc brakes. Now, I don't particularly have anything against the Easy Flex suspension system, but there are a lot of other suspension systems on the market, and the Riverstone can be equipped with independent suspension as well. But the reason why they use the Easy Flex suspension is because that rubber compound in between the suspension equalizer is a very thick, robust compound, and the Riverstone is one of the few RVs on the market that has enough weight to actually allow that compound to flex, expand, and contract whenever you go over bumps. So it's actually a pretty good setup for this specific model of fifth wheel. One thing that's really nice about the Riverstone is that they utilize the much thicker baggage doors. So the baggage doors are very thick, but they're also very heavy. So it's a denser foam material that they use inside of the baggage doors. Another very nice attribute of the Riverstone and one that really sets it apart from a lot of other fifth wheels, especially in this price category, is the fact that Riverstone uses a very unique frame. Typically, when you look at RV frames, it has this front steel portion that transitions to an I-beam frame 
underneath. Now you do get a drop frame with the Riverstone, but what's really special about the Riverstone product is that they make the portion that surrounds this storage area also structural. So in most cases, you'll see aluminum up here. In the case of a Riverstone, you see steel. The reason why you see steel in a Riverstone is because all of this is structural with the frame of the fifth wheel. In most cases, those aluminum beams that you see on most brands are simply there to support the floor area directly above it. And it's not really any structural part of the frame. So when you see this in a Riverstone, this is because the frame on this specific unit and on Riverstone models in general are designed from LCI to be a part of the structure to add additional strength and rigidity to the overall fifth wheel. Now coming around to the other side, you can see that they have a WFCO, this is a 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter. You have your battery disconnect. You can see more of your steel framing up top. You can see how the drop frame gives you a tremendous amount of space inside of this basement area. Your auto leveling system as well as your control to turn a light on. And a space down here for all your hydraulics. So that's really nice. They keep it out of the way. It doesn't take up valuable storage area and you still have a very convenient area to get to all of your connections if you need to service the pump or your hydraulic fluid. And the hatch directly in front of your basement storage gives you access to your battery bank. So as you can see in here, you can fit up to four batteries in here. If you slide this over, you could put two batteries here, two batteries here. And these trays will actually pull out so you can service your batteries, making them a lot easier to access. On the opposing side, you'll see that you have two 40-pound propane tanks, very large propane tanks, and very conveniently placed. These are easy to access. One thing they like to point out is the clear coat finish that they put on the Riverstone. Being a full body paint unit, it's very important whenever you paint one of these, if you don't want to feel the lines, if you don't want to feel where the graphics transition and change, you have to do a really good job of clear coating it. So as you can see, this has beautiful lines, beautiful colors to it. And that is part of the full body paint package that you can get on a Riverstone. And here's another shot looking down the side, just so you can see how pretty this paint job is. Looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of full body paint. Has a large awning that covers part of this slide out here, but extends well ahead of the front entry as well. So you have a pretty good size slide system. No outside kitchen though. I do wish that they had been able to incorporate some type of an outside kitchen into this unit. Coming around to the back, you can see it has a full fiberglass rear cap. It has an installed wireless Furion backup camera. So it's not just prepped for it, it actually has the camera installed. You can see it has really nice LED rear lighting as well as a trailer receiver. Now that trailer receiver only has 150 pounds worth of load capacity. It's really only designed for a cargo rack, maybe a bicycle rack, something like that. You're not gonna wanna tow a vehicle with it. But that is a beautiful rear cap on the back of this Riverstone. So this RV does have Schwintech slides up front and the remaining slides are all rack and pinion slides. So it uses good slide technology. Plus, there are slide top awnings. And those slide top awnings are designed for a couple different things. First of all, it blocks some of the sun and the heat that might normally transfer to the top of the slide. Secondly, it makes cleaning them off much easier in the event you park in an RV park that has trees or any type of debris that could fall on top of your slides. Prevents you from having to climb up top and brushing them off before you pull your slides in. As you pull the slides in, they kind of clean themselves off, which is really nice. The only downside to having them is if you're in a really windy environment, sometimes they can make some noise, and in some cases, if it's windy enough, they could tear. So you want to be careful with them, and you want to understand what the limitations of them might be. But having them are definitely a very big convenience. This Riverstone also comes equipped with a power retractable 50 amp cable. Very nice. And I love the fact that when you have this, it gives you a really good storage area for your cable, so it doesn't take up space in your front basement. You can see underneath the 12 inch I-beam frame with the level up hydraulic auto leveling system and the rack and pinion slides. Underneath you can see the transition here to a drop frame. Now the drop frame on this unit is an eight inch I-beam, but because the section above it that surrounds the storage area is all structural, you don't need to have as big of an I-beam frame for the drop frame section. This is a massive, massive fifth wheel. 
Something else that's unique about this Riverstone is that it is actually wired for the Furion side-facing cameras. So on each side, you're going to have these brackets that you can mount cameras to. And you can see they're already designed for those cameras to be put in place, which is really cool. And you can put four cameras that surround this specific fifth wheel. Another nice feature is that it comes equipped with the RV lock keyless entry system. Very nice. We're going to take a look inside of this 39FK Forest River Riverstone. Climbing up the steps into this Forest River Riverstone, something worth noting right off the bat is that the floor in this specific Riverstone is equipped with a hand-laid tile floor. So this isn't just that rolled up linoleum. This is a vinyl flooring, but it's a hand-laid flooring, which gives it a much more residential feel and look to it. As you can see, this is a mid-living room model, front kitchen. I've walked through one similar to this quite a while back but I wanted to spend more time kind of talking about the construction perks of a Riverstone. You can see the ceiling, how they put really nice crown molding, really nice trim. One of the perks of a Riverstone is that a lot of the construction inside of it, even though you may not be able to tell by looking at it, is designed to be much more residential. All hardwoods, very, very well designed, a lot of trim, a lot of features that you may not notice right off the bat. For instance, real residential fixtures. So you're not getting the plasticky ones or the ones that are designed to be lightweight. You're getting actual residential fixtures, real solid Corian countertops, residential microwave. This is a very high-end Samsung microwave as well. Beautiful window valances, day-night roller shades. Coming around, you have real tile back here, so this isn't just cheap tile, that's actual stone right there. Plus a very, very nice French door style Samsung refrigerator. Coming around over here, you'll see you have your solar charge controller, which means you actually have solar on this specific unit. You can see it's currently providing 7.5 volts. Coming around, a very nice upgraded Furion cooktop. So you have the nice countertop mounted stove as well as the oven beneath it. And this is wider than most of them. Lots of countertop space. Absolutely love all the hardwood accents. Very nice window valances. Nice little bar area here to overlook where your TV is. More storage, lots of storage in here. That's probably one of the key points of this unit is how much storage, how much cabinetry you have, how much countertop space you have, all delivered in a very, very residential package. I mean, just check out the size of this kitchen. This is a huge kitchen. Definitely one that if you're a couple that's gonna be full-timing it and you might have some family members that stay over, it gives you a great entertaining area where you can prep food and cook it without having to worry about everyone being cramped in such a small space. As we work our way down, you'll see that it has three love seats inside the living room area. Now, both of these opposing love seats turn into beds. So these turn into roughly full-size beds, and it's going to give you a lot of sleeping area out here, plus you have theater seating right here. Very tall ceiling heights in here as well. You're talking probably nine feet tall in here and roughly seven and a half feet tall inside of the kitchen. Slides are also very tall. You don't have to worry about hitting your head. It also has a huge TV in here. It's either a 55 or a 60 inch TV, but it is huge and it's a Samsung TV. Plus you have a JBL sound bar. All of your stereo and audio equipment is nicely placed in this back area. And this is real wood. So this isn't a wallpaper. This is a very, very nice looking textured wall. And you can see the really widescreen style fireplace up front. Working our way back. Your thermostat is right here to control all three air conditioning systems. So it has three whisper quiet air conditioning units, one up front, one right here, and the one back in the bedroom area. So this has three AC units in it, which is very nice. Very nice solid doors. 
These aren't those hollow doors that you might normally see. When I go over some of the specs of this fifth wheel, the thing you want to understand is that a lot of the things I'm pointing out aren't even optional on some fifth wheels that cost less. So having a nice solid door is definitely a nice thing. Looking inside of here, all hardwood cabinetry. You have a lot of storage area for toiletries and things like that. Nice vanity area. Very nice size sink. So this is a lot of space. They made the basin even your average size basin. It's not one of those super compact sink basins to give you more countertop space. So in here, you have quite a bit of room. And you have at least a foot on this side of the sink for whatever you need to put your toothpaste, whatever you place here. One piece shower stall porcelain foot flush toilet. A lot of people wonder why they put the heat registers on the floor. The reason for that is if you duck them up into a wall, you lose a lot of airflow. Having them come straight up from the floor gives you much more airflow. So it's kind of one of those things where you weigh the benefit of it being cosmetically more appealing versus being more functional. In the case of most of the heat design in these fifth wheels, they want function over the way it looks. And in the case of almost every high-end fifth wheel you'll see, except for just a few, they'll put the heat registers in the floor because it gives it a much, much more open flow design. It basically isn't going to restrict the airflow nearly as much. You see they put wallpaper inside the bathroom as well. Coming back into the bedroom area. Has a king-size bed. Has about a foot of space on this side to get on the bed. And maybe a foot on the other side as well. Lots of cabinetry in here. You have tons of cabinetry above the bed, a lot of cabinetry here at the back, and you have a place for a washer and dryer, which is included. So this has the stackable splendid unit already built into it. That is very nice. Plus roughly a 36 inch TV already in place, lots of wardrobe space, and you have a second fireplace for your bedroom, which I think is really nice, as well as a separate exit entry from the actual bedroom. So you can enter or exit the master bedroom from the outside, second door, that's really cool. Lots of closet space. This is a very nice laid out bedroom. I love the fact that they place the nightstands out and to the side of the bed as opposed to overhanging the bed. And you have about two and a half feet of space between the end of the bed and the drawers here. So you have quite a bit of space to be able to maneuver through here if you need to. Plus you can see your return air for the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system in here, plus a ceiling fan. And it's a very nice residential style ceiling fan. Overall, guys, this is a very nice fifth wheel. There are a lot of things that make a Riverstone special. You have three inch thick sidewalls. It has hung insulation. It is designed to be a very, very livable fifth wheel. One that you can take to just about any area, especially considering you have three air conditioning units. This is designed for folks who are looking to spend in that hundred to $120,000 price range. You're still gonna be well below the price of a DRV or even a Lux, but you're gonna get a lot of the same features, a lot of the same amenities, and a lot of the unique characteristics that you're looking for in a full-time rated fifth wheel, especially from a construction perspective. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Rockport, Texas. They are affiliated with the dealership, of course, in Corpus Christi and all throughout Texas. They carry Riverstones at a lot of their facilities. This is just a beautifully equipped setup and one that I thought a lot of you might like. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.